Hey guys, welcome to yet another tutorial video and in today's lesson I'll be showing you how to add a scrolling text to your live stream in OBS. It is very easy, just stay on this uh, channel and learn through. Okay, let's do this together. Okay, now let's go to our business of adding a scrolling text. There are many ways in which you can do this, but today I want to show you how you can do it by using a text document. A text document. So the good part about this is you can type your, 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 your work before you even open your OBS. Then when it is typed, you just come and add it to OBS. So yeah, you will do some works even before you, you are ready for your stream. That's one thing I love about using text documents. So, follow me. I'll go to my desktop. And I will... I want to add something new. Which is a text document. So, I'll right click. When uh, the dialog box comes, I'll go on new. Under new, I'll follow the, 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 the pop-up box and I will go to where it says text documents. And I'll give it a name. Uh, tutorial to tutorial scroll. You can save it whatever you would like to save it so that you can remember. Okay, and I'll say enter. Once I do that, I will open it. So I will open it like that. That's my, that is my notepad. A notepad. Then I will come and type in my, my scroll. While is I'm streaming, what message do I want to be, to be showing under their scrolling on my screen? Maybe you want to welcome your viewers. Maybe you want to tell them what your stream is all about. Maybe you want to give an announcement. So uh, in my own, uh, this is what I'll, uh, for, for, for this uh, tutorial, this is the message which is coming to my mind right now. Okay, let me type something fast. Okay, so once I am done with uh, uh, typing my text, once I'm done with typing my text, I'll come and add some, some space at the beginning. And I'll take the case at the end and add some space. With this uh, being done, uh, I'll save my, my text my notepad, I'll say file, save. Okay, remember we have saved it as a tutorial scroll. Okay, so I'll now go to OBS. And this is how I will add my scrolling text from a notepad into OBS. It is very easy, follow me. This is what I will do. I'll come on the plus sign, which is the add sign on under sources, and I'll say add text. From there, I'll say scrolling text. I'll save it as scrolling text. Then look here. I won't come and type here under text because this time around, I want to use something that I've already typed uh, using the notepad. So I'll click on read from file. Once this is selected, you see something popping up down here, which says text file UTF-8, and at the end it says browse. So I'll come under browse and go to where I had saved um, my, 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 my writings for the scroll. So mine was on the desktop, and it is this one, tutorial scroll. I'll click on it and open. 
Once it is here, uh, you can see from the background there, the red uh, uh, selection there is where the scroll will come from. From here, I can tell that this is too big. The text is too big. I don't want it to be up there. I want it to be down. So from here, I'll come and move it down there. The other thing that I'll come to do is I'll come on select font. Select font, what I want to do is to minimize the font. Because by default, it will come around 200 to 250, which is too big. You can't have such a big font scrolling on your screen. So I'll come and choose um, 36, font 36, and I'll say OK. Um, I feel it is too small. I'll go for 48. OK. So it's there. I'll say OK. So I'll drag it to where I want it to be. If you don't want it to be touching the very end, you can just put it inside a bit like that. So that way once it reaches there, it disappears. Here is where now the those spaces I told you about, this is where it comes, they come from. So what I'll now do here is uh, if I am okay with this space, I'll go on and uh, add the scrolling properties. In case I do know I'm not happy with this space, I want to add some more space. I want my text to be starting scrolling from somewhere, maybe here. Because if you see, it is already like 70% uh, into my screen. I don't want it to be like this. What I would do is, uh, I won't close anything here. I'll just minimize. Go to that text which I had typed at first, to that text uh, document of mine. I'll open it. And just add some more space there. And I'll add some spaces like that. Once I'm done adding some space, I'll come and uh, save. If I save it this side, it means even this side, it has been, even on the obvious side, it has been saved. Isn't this easy? Surely it is. Okay, let's now put uh, uh, a, a scrolling effect to it. Always my text is uh, selected like this, I'll come on filters. You can either come here or you can just right click. This one and the same. I'll right click on it, then I'll come on uh, filters. Under filters, I'll come on the uh, plus sign and I'll add a scroll, which is just at uh, the bottom there. I'll say scroll. Say OK. Then here, I'll add the horizontal speed so that it can be moving from uh, right to left. So if you check, it has started moving at 37. If I see that it is too slow, I can move a bit, maybe somewhere 46. But usually, let it not be very fast such that your your audience can't read. So between uh, 40 to 70, it's a good speed. If you feel you want it to be faster than that, you can increase. Maybe up to 80, somewhere there about. So that is now your scrolling text. Then I'll come and say close. Uh, here is the thing. If you are okay with the way the text is looking like, and you have not created transition for it to start showing on the live screen. This is where I'm just editing from, my preview. If, uh, let's say it is in white and your camera maybe has got a lot of white light and you want to add a background to it, it is simple. What you do is you just come uh, on, the, uh, on the plus sign and add a color source. This will be now the background of our of our of our of our, of our text. So I'll say text backdrop backdrop I'll choose a color do I have some something like a grayish okay so I'll choose gray there. 
okay it's there then I'll resize it I want you to pay attention here I already did this this tutorial okay now let me show you something uh, this is supposed to be a backdrop to my text but it is on top of my scrolling text as a result it is hiding my text so I will need to bring it under the the, 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 the text that I want to show so while this is selected like that I'll come on these arrows and I'll go on the one that goes points down okay now my my backdrop is at the back there okay maybe up to there then from there you don't want to to pull this down there no what you want is to crop to cut this part how do you do it you go on your keyboard and you click the alt key i'll hold and uh, I'll click and hold the alternate key and i'll come on top there and begin to drag like that drag like that until the size of my of my text and do it from the bottom and from the uh, from the top there once i'm satisfied with it i'll say transition i would i've let i've let go of the alternate key and i'll say transition so now this is what my viewers will be seeing and this is what is happening in the background i hope you have learned something I will make a yet another video on how you can do this without using a notepad. But for me, using a notepad is very nice. It's very easy and it's quite handy. If you have not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and invite someone to follow so that we can learn together and build a community of broadcasters a community of live streamers thanks guys for watching up to this end cheers to you all